Hi, I'm Alex. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate you how to use the wall printer and print on the wall step by step. We're going to print on this wall. So we picked a, a picture and this is an oil painting created by Chinese artist Mr. Ling Sen. So this is all a painting describes the sense of celebrating New Year in the northeast China. So it contains lots of details, and then we, we are going to print on the wall. So we will see and check the details. Okay, let's do it. We load this picture into the Photoshop, and we setting the size then we load up This oil painting, the name of, the, of this oil painting is Village. Okay, we will get a fire. Okay, so we have the USB disc, uh, the picture is already in it. And uh, set, up, set up the printer. Okay, so we have a video tutorial of how to set up the printer. But uh, we're going to uh, prepare the printer on level because the floor you can see that is uh, the factory floor is epoxy with epoxy and it's not uh, flat actually it's not flat at all so we're going to um, use some mini jacks to leveling uh, the rails so uh, printer is turned on and this is uh, the rip software dongle and uh, this is USB disk so Okay. Find the fire and So we copy this image on onto the desktop. Okay, this is the rip software main top. We're going to rip the file. The ripping processing is very quickly. We just load this picture here okay I'm, I'm just uh, briefly tell you how to do it and uh, all this processing we have the video tutorials to show you also we will have some uh, menus to show you to demonstrate how to how to rip the the fire okay here we have the picture and uh, here we here we have the size okay just some uh, the normal settings so this uh, ripping process is for converting the digital uh, images into a, a file that uh, for the uh, printers to print. So this fire, ripped fire, contains uh, the information of each pixel of the image. So the printer can read, can understand how to lay down 
different uh, in colors, so to f so that it can form a picture. Okay. And then we measure we measure the wall. Okay. So we so the picture would be would be three meters wide and uh, one around one meter height. Height. Uh, so um, we need to measure it, and uh, we're gonna because we're going to print in the center uh, of the wall. So then we will prepare the printer. So we're gonna measure the distance to the wall. It's around uh, 27 centimeter. So the print head would be. Closer. Okay. This is how it, how the printer looks like. And uh, so, very important thing is to wish the make sure the rails it have the same distance everywhere to the wall so the picture on the wall would be not uh, uh, would be straight We can show the, the software and uh, and the the printer can move on the rails, so you don't need you, know, you don't need to push uh, the uh, the printer move on the rails. So use the software to move the printer. So now uh, we are level the rails on level, and we have the level two. And we also have the mini jacks. So these little tools can help us level the rails and uh, the printer will move on level. So this, it is an essential job before printing. Make sure the rails or the wheels, okay, move on level. Okay, match up each rail. Okay, good. Okay, turn on the machine power and uh, Open the control software. Dixon Jet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we can move the printer on the control panel. The printer is moving. It's very easy, straightforward. Okay, uh, we moved uh, the printer to the exactly place we're going to print. So um, we're going to pump the ink, maintenance, the print head, so we pump, processing, so in come out. We'll pump again.
Okay, it, um, to make sure the print header is in good condition. The printer is already set up here. In front of the wall, it's a perfect wall. Okay, um, so we we, un we unplug the, the pump box. That's the device to man maintain the printhead. See that? So no ink leak on the floor. Very clean. Then we wipe the printhead. So we spray, spray it to clean the surface of the print head. We spray one more time. Okay. Okay, let's uh, perform a testing. So select the lowest point. Okay, so then we test. The test, we will see some color blocks to see the condition of the print head. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's do it again. Let me have it. Okay, it's fine. Okay, let's uh, file select. So we find uh, the location of the of the picture. We can preview the picture. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Automatic. So the print header will forward to the wall automatically to keep uh, a fine distance to the wall. It's not touch the wall, always keep a fine, the best the distance to the wall. So uh, the, the print header can jet the ink droplets on the wall. Okay, let's measure again. So uh, there's a little cross here. So let's measure accurate and measure the location to make sure the, print, the, the picture prints will be in the center of this wall. Okay. So um, the picture's height is one meter, so we're gonna have a preview. So this is the height of the picture, and this is the lens. So have a preview. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's get started. So set the lowest point, and we lift up the print head. The print head goes up, 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 and uh, So it goes up to the location, then, then we set the highest uh, print location. So the print head will be go between the lowest point and the highest point. So to make sure the print head would not hit the, hit the ceiling, it is a very useful function to print. Okay, still goes, goes up. Okay, then we set the highest point. Okay. Okay, good. So 
So, the prehead. What goes down? This is the location we said just now, the lowish the point. Then we just print, press the print button. And uh, we can also see the, the color usage. It will change when it is, when the, the, it is printing. Okay, it's processing. Oh, it's moving. Okay, the printer is walking. It's the interview of the software. This is the processing. In conception. And uh, printing speed. So now you can have a cup of coffee and watch the printing process. So uh, you have already seen many videos on YouTube and Instagram, but uh, the flyers always speed up the printing uh, speed. So um, you maybe you never knew the real wall printing uh, speed. So this is the real wall printing speed. Let me show you a few seconds. This is the real printing speed at 8 pass resolution. Let's go to see it. So we have already printed around 15 minutes. We have the picture on the wall. Can you see the resolution? Really good. You can see the details. The hands, the woman, the dogs, the trees, the houses, the snow, and the mountains, I think. Looking forward to see the finished picture. Okay, let's check again. I think uh, this sense of views decades ago of China about uh, celebrating the new year. Okay, we already printed uh, 54 minutes. Processing CTH ink uh, conception, no white because the wall is white, so it's not uh, consumed white ink. So, yellow use is the most. Can you believe that these images 
are only printed by eight parts. 720 dpi by 720 dpi. Even for this image, we also use the eight parts, 720 dpi. So you may be convinced by the DPI that more higher DPI the printer is and the better, better resolution for the image on the wall. But truth is not. The resolution of the image depends on many aspects of the printer. Resolution is just one of them. Sometimes you don't need uh, to print at at the highest resolution. All right. So we already finished the one, two, three, four. Finished the four sections. Uh, the picture has six sections. Let's see how much time we, we spent. So we spent one hour, 37 minutes. So let me tell you something about the wall printing speed. So the same size of the image the higher the image has, the less printing speed it will spend. Because you can see that the printer will stop at the top and bottom, right? So if the printer is very high, so every time printing, it will go high and uh, spend uh, less time on printing. So both stop uh, Time will waste some time. Every stop will waste some time. So if the image is higher, and it will spend less time. For example, if the image is three meters high, the printer will go three meters, three meters will, will print like this. So it will spend less time, right? But yeah, but the wall printer is working vertically so it will print like this so every every time they will stop here stop here so it will waste some time so the printing speed is depends on the size and the shape of the image i hope uh, i already uh, expand explained it So the wall printing is working and it's going to it's going to the end. Really like a museum, right? Or exhibition. So you can print some artist for the exhibition or museum. It's a real oil painting. and it will be finished in two hours. Finally, we finished the printing and we can see the ink consumption. The cyan consumed 5.72 million liter. Magenta consumed 11.06 million liter. Yellow consumed 12.3 to three milliliter and black consumed the 3.69 so you can calculate how many how much ink consumed totally for three square meters image okay this is the image so we have the completed image on the wall right now I really like uh, such image, it contains lots of 
information. I can still add to the image for hours and look at each of people's face and what and what they are looking, what they are doing. So I really like this image. This is why uh, I'm so loving wall printing. I hope you will like this video and uh, see you in the next video.